Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the brand new Season 5 weapon, the Assault Rifle Stig 44. It's been a mainstay throughout several COD titles, and let's see how good it is in this. First, let's take a look at the numbers. Maybe some of you haven't had a chance to unlock it yet, so we'll see what this beast can do. Headshot is a hefty 54, so three to the head. First thing I do when I see damage that high is look at the fire rate. 600 rounds per minute, that puts out about 10 rounds per second. Three of that's about a third of a second, but really it's two bullets because the first one you shoot in the effective damage range is a hit scan. So about a 200 millisecond time to kill if you can get two in the head. Upper torso 46, same for the lower torso. So this weapon packs a punch. Upper legs damage is about as good as some torso damage on other assault rifles at 36. And speaking of range, the effective damage range is 43.7 meters, almost 44. And you can reach out to 60 meters at a bolt velocity of 940. 46 meters per second so at those longer ranges you'll be able to track people let's look at the recoil and these are composite numbers this is not a bare bones number i'm doing a video on a specific configuration i will show you what the bare bones numbers are too but anyway the recoil kick is 82.12 degrees per second so that should tell you something about my configuration right away horizontal recoil is okay at 12 degrees per second and vertical recoil about 68 degrees per second. And speaking of recoil, let's have a look at this beast in the shooting range. First, hit fire, I won't control it. It doesn't go up as fast as some other weapons and it does tend to go a little bit to the right. Now, aim down sight, no control. Straight up and very slightly to the right and just for your information, I'm using a 40 round mag. Now let's see about control and look at there. It just deleted the dummy. It tucked him into bed and gave him a kiss on the cheek. Let's go back to this configuration and have a look at it. All right, first I said 40 round mag. You can see what it does to mobility. That's the only thing it affects. ADS speed, sprint to fire speed. They're still outstanding and I'll show you why in a second. And the movement speeds. Interestingly enough, it did not change reload quickness. So whether you're on a 30 round mag or a 40 round mag, it's the same reload quickness. If we'd gone to the 50 round drum, it only slightly impacted reload, but significantly impacted everywhere else. XRK Edge, BW4 hand stop. And what that does is it significantly helps our mobility and handling numbers, hurting hip fire and tax stance. This is not a tax stance weapon, so you're not going to be wanting to use this configuration for tax stance challenges. Shadow Strike Suppressor. Keeps me off the map. I had an extra slot. Doesn't do anything to the numbers. The factory short barrel. That helps with the mobility slightly. Helps slightly with the ADS speed. But look at the sprint to fire. 20% improvement in the performance. Getting us down to 128 milliseconds. 54 headshot. 46 upper and lower torso. And you can start bringing it to bear in 128 milliseconds from a sprint. Impacts the recoil. But we've already piled on the recoil we've already tested it and slightly hurts the, the ranges and finally no stock you can see what no stock does for us look at those green mobility numbers all the way down 23 percent again on the sprint to fire and 14 percent on the ads speed really helps the hip fire max so when you're moving and shooting from the hip you're going to be as accurate as tax stance but look at the recoil on the gun kick 131 percent worse 36% everywhere else. Let's take a look at the numbers specifically. Now, one of you out there, Poep Flater, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I apologize for that, but what you do have is a cool VW Bug. When I was a kid, everybody had one as their second car. It's one of the cars I learned to drive on. You said, I think you should show difference as a percentage. So I took what you said to heart, shout out to you, and here are the numbers that I came up with. First of all, let's look at the rates, damage, and ranges. And 
compare the configured Stig 44 to the bare bones. And you can see they really didn't change all that much. 1% on the bullet velocity, we're not going to notice it. And 2% on the ranges, we won't notice that either. Recoil and performance, that's where things get interesting. You can see that on the gun kick, 131% worse. 40 and 41% worse on the horizontal and the vertical recoil. Hip fire, we're not going to worry about. The tack stance, 68% worse. So like I said, you're not going to be using this weapon for tack stance challenges. But now let's move to performance. 19% or 49 milliseconds better on the ADS speed. Movement speeds are significantly better. The ADS movement speed is 21% better at 3.5 meters per second. And that's an AR moving at 3.5 meters per second side to side, front to back, however you want to fool the enemy. 39% better on the sprint to fire, almost 40% at, like I said, 128 milliseconds. Now, it shows green for the flinch resistance, but it actually got worse. I just got so excited by all that green. And let me take a moment to say, my configurations work for me in specific situations. I wouldn't take this configuration on a long map, maybe not into search and destroy, but in medium to short range maps, this one works fine. And I actually got some long shots with this configuration because the recoil seems to be one thing in the stats, another thing in the game. Speaking of in the game, let's take this high recoil, this configuration for the brand new Stig 44 onto the field of honor. See what it did for grandpa. See what it did to grandpa's sometimes friendly enemies. Let's go. Let's get it on here. Free for all. Grandpa against the world with the new Stig 44. And there's my first gag. Man. I get hoisted on my own petard, my own proximity mine, traitorous thing. But I got a gack out of it. Ooh. And you're going to hear me say something time and again here, and that is I didn't see the recoil. That was about a 20-meter engagement, and it was no difficulty. Yeah. Grandpa loves the double kills. So I did go with a 40-round mag like I emphasized. I didn't didn't think 30 would be enough but it didn't affect me hardly at all i still have a very fast aim down sight speed in fact lightning fast lightning fast sprint to fire dropping 56 to the head or was it 54 to the head and 46 to the body so i can get it in their face pretty quickly is that a zombie? Don't you have to hit him in the brain? So I'm going to sound like a broken record because I will say time and time again that I just didn't see the recoil. And I'm still wondering about my own conspiracy theory here. A guy jumped over my mind, but he got wounded and gacked. See, face to face, it's hard to keep up with that. 3.5 meters per second. ADS movement. Of course, it's not hard when I'm getting shot in the back. That means you buy the farm without even seeing it first. There's some... Somebody stepped in paint. Hey, here's some good news. I used the demolition vest, and the vests got significantly buffed in season five so before i used to have to decide on whether i wanted the black light flashlight or attack mask now i get two perks with a demolition vest so i can run through gas remind me of the fighter squadron with the ready room see gas didn't affect me whoa but that would affect me Let's see. Hopefully somebody followed me. There he is. Didn't get what he expected. We got a tie game here. Things changed really quickly. I was ahead by five kills, I think. But then somebody will drop in that's got steroids or just a great player. Couldn't stay with the stray if he tried to stab me. That's elder abuse. We can't have that, so we gacked them. 
Nope. Somebody else is the king. Somebody else is Elvis. That's Grandpa's job. He's going to come after me here. The zombie runs faster than most. This guy here probably leaned over for a handful of popcorn. Look back up again, and he's pushing up daisies. Once again, he couldn't keep with the uh, strafe speed. So the weapon, you know, you reach out to 50-plus meters with the thing. You've got a decent... Oh, Muppet got me. You know what Grandpa says about Muppet? Muppets, you go back and you gack them. So you put out 10 rounds a second. You got a great strafe. Look at there. You can't keep with that strafe. That's what you get for Muppeting on Grandpa's map. So this is a good medium range map. I mean, it's a good test of the recoil. Well, there's somebody Muppeting up there. Whoa, he came down to stab old Grandpa, and he couldn't stay with the strafe. Just a little duck, and it threw him off. Oh, that's not a good place to be a Muppet with your weapon hanging out in the doorway. Grandpa eats a Granado, and he's still behind in the third trimester of the game. He needs to get six before the enemy gets four. Zombies are always a good star. Oh, whoa, 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 get them. So make sure you don't pull the trigger before you have a reasonable chance of shooting the person. Threw a couple of rounds his way to make my escape. Sprint to fire. It won that engagement entirely. The sprint to fire speed. Oh, there's somebody who's going to... There's two people. Poor lady got it again. So we're tied at 28. I'm going to put out everything. I'm going to try to trip people and shoot them as they're falling. Clothesline them. Whatever I can do to get those last. Ooh, there was somebody. And what on earth? Almost a big mistake by Grandpa. Wouldn't be my first. Shoot a crossfire. Oh, that was a zombie. Now, I didn't check because I just wanted to run in here and hopefully somebody would chase me and step on my landmine. But he didn't, so we'll go out and get the zombie. Hooah! It's a win. The mission is complete. So that was a good test of the recoil, or lack thereof, of my conspiracy theory. That whatever's in the game isn't what's in the stats. So look at there, it's just going pretty, pretty straight. And I'm letting it climb a little. So we'll try one more. Confirm the recoil. I did play three with this configuration. I won all three of them. So I kind of let you know ahead of time what's going to happen here. Did get behind. Whoa. But I started out not liking this gun too much. I mean, oh, look, phase psyllium. Got him. Just back from COD Champs where they came in, I think, sixth. Surprisingly, because they're an outstanding team. Whoa, turn on. Strafe and Gak Elvis. There's distance, and I missed every shot, essentially. But it wasn't the recoil, it was the gun kick. Sometimes I found that a bit uh, challenging. And that guy couldn't follow the strafe speed. We circled around him. He should have killed me, but he got turned on instead. Somebody stepped in that pink purple paint, and we get phase psyllium again. Luckily, a second kill because Grandpa is now behind. He was ahead by five, and boy, did things change. There's Faze again, trying to claw my way back into it. I see Faze again, and that's a distance shot. So what I did was I I did compensate for the recoil with my thumb. Obviously, there's another distance shot, and I get one in the ear. But I also use the strafe speed to try to get the aim assist to help me out a little 
Dave, people just fall instantaneously. They must think I'm cheating or something with a as fast as this gun kills people when you hit them in the head. It's like getting shot by a shotgun almost. There's distance and we got them. There's up close and we got them. And Grandpa's unsafe at any range. Oh, I know somebody's going to be shooting at me there. Got him, and he's Elvis. And Faye Selium takes his revenge on me. There's a guy with a Moors. I don't know where I'm getting shot from. Obviously right there. And Elvis couldn't stay with a stray speed again. So the configuration, 40 rounds, absolute must. Pull off the stock, give it a try, because <laughs> nothing you can do against the Moors when... He shot at me from a distance of zero. There's X Elvis. Now current Elvis. Of course, there's FaZe. Whoa, and Grandpa gets caught in the corner. Like he did so many times in elementary school when the teacher sent me there. We're getting hit hard. Looking at the blood on the wall. There's FaZe. I tell you, those things are so easy to see, and he could run really fast. I noticed that the whole game. He was a fast runner. There he is again. Can't outrun the bullet, though. And remember, this has almost, what is it, close to a 1,000 meters per second on the bullet velocity. It's 900, 900 and a half. So you're going to be able to track these guys. Grandpa gets derezzed all of his pixels somewhere on Mars. Just need two more GAX. There's FaZe. That was two bullets, three bullets in the head. And one that didn't hit him. And there's the win. I was pretty excited about that win because it was a hard fight. And it was a fight at distance, and it was a fight beak to beak, and that's what the new Stig is good at. I'm falling in like with it. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate your support. It worked out good for the Stig. I'm going to keep it for a while in my permanent classes. Cheers and peace to you.